Hello, everyone. My name is Teresa Miller, Director of Technical Advocacy here at Cohesity. Today, we are going to take a look at how you can do instant mass restore of your Nutanix AHV workloads. One of the things that we recognize here at Cohesity is that there are situations in which you may need to bring multiple systems back online quickly. That's where our protection and recovery with Nutanix can come in if that is your hypervisor of choice. Let me go ahead and show you how this is set up and let's go ahead and initiate a restore. So the first thing that you will need to protect your Nutanix AHV workloads is a registered source. So you can see here, I have my Nutanix AHV environment registered. I did this by clicking register, choosing virtual machines, and then choosing Acropolis. I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel because we do have this already in place. The next thing that we need to protect these servers is a policy. So a policy could be something standardized or custom. In my case, I have a custom policy that's going to back up my servers every day and retain for two weeks. And then the last piece is protection. So from a protection perspective, I have a backup job in place. I'm gonna go ahead and click edit so you can see. So I have 12 objects protected. I gave this protection group a name. I chose my AHV policy and um, left the rest of the defaults, including the additional settings. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I would click save if this wasn't already created, but I'm gonna click cancel because it's already in place. Now let's say we end up in a scenario where we need to restore some machines through instant mass restore. We go to recovery, we choose recover, we choose virtual machines, and we click VMs. From a virtual machine perspective, the servers that I'm looking for are these C1 servers. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose these systems. Now, another way to select these would actually to be to just choose the whole protection job if that was something that was relevant and applicable. Today, I've selected them all individually to show you. And now I'm left with some choices. So depending on the type of restore you're doing, you may want to go back to the original location versus a new. And in my case today, we're gonna to go back to the original. We're going to uh, have a choice here again. We could choose copy recovery or instant recovery. We wanna go with the instant recovery. This is going to allow the machine to come up and be functional. It'll restore user access uh, while the recovery is finishing behind the scenes. The other piece that's interesting here is the create empty disks for excluded disks. So there can be cases where you may not be backing up a disk. Um, an example might actually be databases where you have log files that are clearing and you're allowing the database process to manage that behind the scenes. So there's no reason to protect that. There could be other scenarios as well. And so if you have any empty drives, you then could say, yes, let's go ahead and restore those as well. Now today I don't have any empty disks to restore, so I'm just gonna proceed. Now I want these to be recovered unattached and I'm also going to give this a name at the front end. This will allow me to review the machines as they come online before I would put them in production, especially from an IP perspective, you wouldn't want to take any chances on the, the duplicate IP side while you're finishing and managing the restore. I'm now gonna go ahead and click recover. 
So the restore has now initiated. Let's go ahead and look at this from a Nutanix perspective. So here I am in my Nutanix environment. The first thing I've done is some filtering on some of the server names that I know I restored. So the first thing you'll notice is that they are down. They're definitely impacted. The other element to this is we can see that the systems that we did initiate for restore through the IMR are also already coming back online. And I can do some additional search if I just go straight to the Nutanix prefix that I added. And you can see that this is in process and wrapping up soon. So that's how you can leverage Cohesity to do an instant mass restore of Nutanix VMs. Thank you.